Right, hey guys, I figured I'd try and make a video showing you how I'd go about installing um, an airdrop mod onto one of Falcon's servers. So, I haven't installed this mod before, I've never used it myself, um, so let's try and give it a go. So I've got my server here, or septic server here with uh, all the usual server stuff in it, a few bits and bobs, and this is the uh, Nitrado page where we can stop it. So first things first, things first stop the server. Make sure nothing changes while it's running, otherwise it can every now and again cause problems. It's not usually a problem, but it can do. Next thing, we go and uh, go to the workshop page. Let's, so we want to find an airdrop mod, don't we? So Daisy Workshop Airdrops. That one. I have looked and subscribed to this already to save a bit of time, but I've never installed it before. Uh, let's have a little scroll down the page. Requirements, that's handy. None. It does not require any other mods, which is handy, which we don't have to install anything else. Okay, so it shouldn't be too difficult to install, I don't think. So let's start off first things first, go to our workshop folder. I have a shortcut here, but just to show you where to get to it, it's on probably all my other videos, but go to your Steam, wherever you've installed it. I think mine's in here. Yep, yeah. Steam, programs, files, uh, Steam apps common daisy and it's here you need to enable your hidden files um, that is in my um, most popular video the how to install daisy mod just look on my channel you'll find that and it'll show you how to find this folder if you can't find it but yeah go in there and this is where all your mods are installed that you're subscribed to so we want the what's it called uh, airdrop upgraded should be near the top there's airdrop there's airdrop upgraded let's drag it in so drag that to your server or copy it over if you're um, if you have a local server this FTP you have to drag it and because it's a small mod it will be nice and quick hopefully fingers crossed yep there we go um, oh there's lots of stuff in there uh, let's have a look at the guide so if we go, it doesn't matter if it's in there or in here, I'm just going to do it here. Oh, fancy. Okay. So there's lots of settings and things we can change, which is exciting. Installation, subscribe, all that, I've already done that. Locate in blah, 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 I've done that as well. Done that as well. Number four, copy the airdrop. Done that as well, I'm clever. Open your local copy of Airdrop and upgrade a folder and go to the keys folder. That's what's going to be my next step. And then that says to add it to your... So it is just a simple, simple install of the mod. Um, yeah, simple, simple. So as it says, go to the keys in here. Go to your server, your main server keys folder, which is this one here. And copy it across. There it is. If you've already got if you've already got one in there, that's fine as well. It's, it should be the same key. Um, that usually happens if people make multiples of the same mod. Nice. Let's just check. There's nothing else to do. Uh, so first things first. Let's add uh, this here. So the exact name. What I like to do is right click rename and then. Control C to copy it, so you get the exact name of the mod, and then you go to your server or this would be in your batch file if um, if it's uh, if it's if it's a server that you're running on your home PC, it'll be in your batch file where you add this in the additional mods bit. Um, but for Nitrado and most other online platforms, it's where you put the addition of mods bit. And I'm going to put it just before Community Online Tools and just after everything else. Now what this should be is that everything else loads before. So all this stuff here should be able to go into, including like dog, dag, dog tags and car covers, all the rest of that, should be able to go into the airdrops. So if you add it, Control V, paste it in there. You need to make sure that they all have, you see you've got here a semicolon, they all have a semicolon after the mod. So just pop one in there, boop, there we go. Make sure the last one doesn't have one, and you push save changes. Uh, and that's 
done. So that should be very basically installed. Um, so tell you what, I'm just going to load up the game after starting the server and see what happens. So start the server up. It'll probably take about three minutes or so. So I'll probably get back to you when it's loaded. Okay. Hopefully this is going to load in nice and easily. Yep, looks like it's successful. So the mod's installed. Nice, yeah, that'll do. Let's get a spawn in a airdrop flare on us. Use it. Switch on the flare. Airdrop. Uh, aircraft was dispatched to the player's location from south west. 220 degrees. Awesome. Let's just uh, put this on the floor. Get ready for the airdrop to come. Pop, let's open them up. It's coming from the southwest, so if we come from that direction, we could just use the map really, wouldn't we? Let's come up here and have a wait. Coming from that way. Oof, fucking hell, Jesus. Hello. Now I think all these have spawned because, uh, yeah, there's another one. I think I think these have spawned because it's not a particularly a uh, dangerous area. I think because of the airdrop. I think there's a setting where you can choose what spawns. I reckon wolves spawn and all sorts of zombies spawn because that's a military, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't a military area. Oh, nothing yet. It's the right way. Yes, yeah, so I thought. Oh. Aircraft is one kilometre from Corb location from the southwest. There it is, there it is. And here it comes. Whoa, coming in fast. Okay, yeah, that looks really cool. Sounds good as well. And there's the drop. That's really cool. So it doesn't actually drop exactly on the location, so it kind of drops, what, like 100 meters, 100 meters or so towards the direction the plane came from. That's interesting. So that came from the southwest. And there it is. Try not to let it land on my head. It also looked like it drifted a little bit then. Oh, okay, so it just... So it's not like a box you can access, is it? It's just spew stuff onto the floor sort of thing. And it also doesn't give... Uh, look. So it hasn't got any attachments. So any weapons you put in it won't have any attachments. That's interesting as well. So what have we got? We've got... Some vodka. Very nice. Vodka. Um, AK mag. Bullets. Bottle of water. Beans. Um, M4 mag. So we could just pick up the M4 or mag the mag and shoot these things, can we? Bish bash bosh. Nice, we've got anything fun. No, a couple more M4 mags. Uh, ooh, FNX. I like the FNX. And. Ugh, be crazy. <laughs> yeah, so pretty cool, really. It's pretty good. Okay, so after having a bit of fun and killing all this stuff, I've just realised that the drops, like the regular drops, not the ones that you have to call in with the flares, um, they're all meant for Genaris. So they won't actually drop in the right locations on this map, will they? So, because if you've got a Belota drop, obviously there's no Belota on Namask, and this is Namask map. So let's uh, let's try and fix that shall we let's just do a bit of uh, searching and I'll show you how easy it is to forget some free settings 
Um, yeah, should be fine. Let's do it. So come out of the game. And what this should have done as well, I think, is generate some settings in your uh, player profiles folder, which I think on uh, here is the config folder. So that is, if you ever see anything in the player profiles folder, find a mouse because it's the config folder. Come here. Yeah, oh, look at that. Airdrop settings. Uh, here we have uh, airdrop safe zones. Um, so I'm guessing it doesn't allow you to call in airdrops to these locations with flare. Maybe it's because this is often where um, this is often where safe zones are for traders and things. That's probably a sensible idea. Uh, airdrop settings. Ah, look at this. Bosh. That's a lot of stuff. So, bear in mind, I haven't even looked. Well, the only time I looked at the help thing was earlier. So, let's have a little look. Um, interval 60. I'm guessing that means every hour one will drop. Uh, smoke trails. One to enable smoke, tra smoke trails. Minimum players. That means, well, more than likely means you have to have at least one person on the server for it to drop. Um, don't know what these three mean. Map, that shows probably the size of the map and its offset position. Um, now what I'm going to have to do is find these settings out for Namask. Um, speed of the aircraft, 150 knots I'm assuming. Starting altitude, uh, don't know. Drop offset minus 10. Drop accuracy. Ah, okay. So when I said it's probably about 150 out, I reckon 152 meters out. So it doesn't hit you on the head basically when you've dropped it if you stand in the same place. Um, messages. Okay, so this is. This will give you a message about the airdrop if you are. 1,500 meters out, I'm assuming, from where the person called it, or from where the actual drop zone is going to be. Ah, this is, yes, yeah, so this is for each container. One container will spawn with a possible three, I'm assuming, with an offset of this amount if there's more than one. Uh, wind strength, oh, that's cool. So it does kind of move around in the wind. That's really cool. Lifespan 60, I'm assuming that means it'll stay there for an hour, and then despawn. So okay, here we go, Look, locations. Well, that's not what I was expecting. So city location has these zombies spawning in it. So if you have other AI, uh, like the Bloodsucker for instance, uh, Dinos Binos is a wonderful Bloodsucker mod, you can add that in here. Just add the class name at the bottom, um, to get the class name, all you do is go into uh, your missions, in the go to the types, and you can search for the blood sucker. Search for blood. Oh, there's a lot of things with blood. Loads of stuff. Oh, here we go. Blood sucker. Um, and then you literally just copy that. If you want the normal one or that, if you want the medium one. Same for any other AI, um, any other aggressive AI. I suppose you could probably do animals as well because you can do the wolves. Um, but yeah, you just just copy them into these here. And you need to put them in for every single one you want. So the top one is city spawns, that's country spawns, military spawns. So military just spawns military zombies, interestingly. Um, oh, actually, no. Yeah, and you've got a wolf pack as well. That's kind of cool. So all of these things can potentially spawn at a drop by the looks of it. Okay, so a player called drop, that will be one of the ones which we just did with the um, flare. So it could be at any location and it can be uh, any type of drop. It'll call 10 zombies and that will be within 50 meter radius and the accuracy will be 100 so it'll be the actual drop will be in within 100 that's really cool that's done really well and notice this doesn't have any coordinates because it spawns on the player essentially the player that calls it 
Now, this is the coordinates, the map coordinates of um, Chinaris, um, because this is like the default map for Daisy, obviously Chinaris Plus. So now we're using Namalsk, we want to change all this, we want to change Bolota to wherever in Namalsk we want to drop it to, and we want to change these coordinates so they're right. What we could do is we could go on I Survive, if I can figure out where the hell I've put it. Uh, for any daisy stuff, oh there we go. And go to Namask. And all we could do is just uh, hover over here. You see we've got the, the coordinates down here, the, just, just above this annoying advertisement. Um, so wherever your mouse goes, you could put it say on the refugee camp and copy those coordinates to the bottom and whack them in the X and the Z. So those ones there are the X and the Z. Just whack them in there and you'll get a, a, a drop in that place. And it'll be five zombies spawn at the end with a radius of 50. So 50 meters around there will be potentially put anywhere in that drop. But I'm sure there's going to be a much easier way of doing it manually. So let's have a little look at the, uh, let's just close that for the moment. Close this. Let's have a look at the workshop page for, for the airdrops. So this is uh, what where you first get to it. And if you scroll down, um, I reckon there'll probably be a Discord link somewhere with lots of very easy copy paste information. Oh look, Discord. Let's go to Discord. Discord is a godsend when it comes to doing admin work, a da daisy admin work. Uh, okay, rules for the Discord. Usually worth reading these, um, but if you're just gonna go and get some information, um, Oh look, airdrop upgraded. That's the, that's the mod we're using. Uh, not really anything helpful. Anything helpful in pinned messages? Uh, not really. What about the other channels? Frequently asked questions. Settings for other maps. It's basically saying you can just create your own ones, which I've just explained. Uh, share your settings. That might be helpful. Um, scroll up a bit. So that's one for Deer Isle. Namalsk. So this was, you know, it's always worth looking, worth looking at the date this was posted. So December 7th, 2020. That's quite a long time ago, but you know what? I'm just going to use it anyway. There you go. View whole file. But if we look here, it's got all the different areas of Namask and they've added it in already and it's got all the zones. So what you could do is you could just steal these and throw them in to your file, which is I think what I might do actually. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. So if we go to our um, config, and then into airdrop, into airdrop settings. This is what we looked at earlier. And to get all the airdrops in the correct places, we need to go down to where it shows the coordinates. Here we go, drop zones. Now we, all we really need to do is copy this drop zones. Let's make sure we've got that. And drop zones copy this as well just so we keep it consistent you need to make sure that you don't delete anything so we've started at the beginning of drop zones and we're ending with that comma there so if we go to here and have a look at the drop zones we have there's that ending comma there so we need to overwrite that and just drop zones there control v and just like that We've changed it to Namask. Hopefully, anyway. Which is pretty, pretty cool, actually. Um, so let's just have a little look at the rest of this file and see if there's any other changes. Let's go back up to the top. So that's obviously the main one. Ah, okay, something I've noticed has changed already. The map width, height, and offset. So the offset's the same, but the width and the height are different. So I'm just going to uh, do what I did before. 
copy the width and the height and bosh that in there you could just change the numbers over but I found that's a little bit easier there you go um, I suppose that's just so the plane kind of knows where to go really now you've also always got to be careful when looking at stuff on discord because these these are from mods that aren't on my server so it might create an error if I was to add these files um, if I was to add these these class names because it wouldn't recognize them because it's not on the server so I've just left it with the with the vanilla stuff for now and I'll go through and maybe add some of the more powerful stuff from the mods I have um, yeah a bit later um, and that's just easy peasy but there's, there's little things that can trip you up in these files like if you look here all of these have a comma apart from the last one um, I need to be really careful that you don't put a comma there because that will stop your server from starting something as simple as that will stop your server from starting um, so just to, yeah just be very careful with that um, and you can you can add any items to any of these so you could fool someone you could say oh there's a food medical drop coming and you could put like a m4 in the middle of it or something which would be quite entertaining um yeah and that's that's all you need to do let's so now save that that's saved and that will mean that it will work on the mask so i'm happy with that job done yeah final thing to do is to restart the server so those changes should hopefully be saved fingers crossed okay one other thing that um you can do is so the flare that we used before you can add that to your types which mean it'll spawn around the uh the map um i'm pretty sure the top the the types are in the discord somewhere so this is the discord that we were on earlier um show your settings likely to be oh there we go straight away in the pin messages so here's the type what we've got to do is copy that Control c and put it in our types so let's open up the server again because i shot that earlier which one was it uh, probably that one. Uh, oh yeah here we go and so we want to go to mp missions and the map you're using i'm using the mouse you might be using channel plus and db and then into your types.xml then i like to put new mods right at the bottom you can put them absolutely anywhere and it won't make a difference um, as long as it's in its own section but I like to put them right at the bottom. So just before the types with an S when the forward slash, you make space and paste it in there. So we have the airdrop flare with its own type. So there's declaring that it's a type all the way down to where it says it's finished the type right before the last bit. And that is correctly put in there. So there will only ever be two spawning on the map. Um, which means you have to be pretty lucky to find one. Um, but obviously, if you do get one, you have a whole airdrop to yourself, as long as nobody kills you before you get to it. Yeah, so next time you see a flare, don't just think, ah, oh, it's a flare it's, that player's dropped. It could be a magical airdrop flare. Dun, 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 and save that. And you're good to go. Obviously, restart your server. And yeah, you're good to go. So yeah, that's basically how you install the airdrop mod. And it's also a little explanation on how you go and find how to install stuff, which hopefully means you can just not have to sit there and watch a load of YouTube videos. All you need to do is go and actually figure it out for yourself. So like we all we, all we did to start with was we literally Googled airdrop mod daisy or something like that. And the first thing that came up was the one that we installed. Um, it's not, not, not difficult, you just go and find it subscribe to it um, and then read essentially you you, you read um, and the more you read the more information you get and the easier it is uh, discord is super helpful so any discord channels that you're using the mods for I suggest you join because there will always be an, always be information in there um, like people come up to me for loads of times to say oh how do you do this how do you install this um, like I get expansion installs loads like tell you what go to YouTube go and do installing daisy expansion 
and oh look, the first thing that pops up, an updated guide on how to install Daisy expansion from Scale Speed Gaming. It's not difficult to find, <laughs> really isn't. Um, and that works as well, I, I tried it earlier. Um, yeah, it's it's really not difficult. So, so Google essentially is your best friend. And if you can't figure it out, then ask someone. Um, but make sure you actually try first. Thanks for watching the video.